Greetings, fellow editors. In Quiver first version, when adding clips from a sequence using Add as Individual Clips option, Quiver couldn't transfer effects from clips inside a source sequence to clips added to a destination sequence. For that, I offered you a workaround that requires applying effects and transformations to the clip source. However, there are some limitations to this workaround. With Quiver 1.1, you no longer need source workaround. Effects now will be transferred, so you finally can use blend modes, add effects and keyframes. That said, there are still some limitations. You only can use linear keyframes and masks are not supported. To overcome this, I've added a new setting for sequence items. A nest sequence and, as it says inside parentheses, copy and paste. This is per item setting and if you enable it, you will see this little shovel icon. Say hello to Grave Robber. What happens when you press the button? The source sequence will open briefly, the clips will be copied and pasted to the timeline. And this will preserve all effects, keyframes, masks, etc. No limitations this time. With Unnest sequence enabled, everything in Quiver will still work the same. Start marker, overlay, overwrite and insert methods. Track targeting by targets or track names. Replacing selected clips. Unnesting sequences from Quiver library projects. In this case, Quiver project will open briefly and copy-paste will happen. Is there any downside of this copy-paste option? Only one. You won't be able to unnest sequences with live playback. Depending on your workflow, you can decide if you need this or not. Next great feature is import and export for Quiver library projects. This will allow you to share or use Quiver projects created by others. When you export project, a copy of a project will be saved with all assets used. The project file will contain all the data Quiver needs. So you can simply import the project on another machine and start using it right away. Another small feature is for Mogart labels. By default, all Mogarts added to a timeline will use the same label. Lavender in my case. However, if you will change label of a placeholder that Quiver uses for a Mogart item, this label will be applied to the Mogart when it's added to the timeline. In previous Quiver updates, I've added new options. Here's a brief overview. Spellbook commands to activate Quiver project. Now, with shortcuts or control surface, you can activate any profile. If you want to change the order of Quiver projects, just open the projects library and drag reorder them. If you don't want individual clips added from a sequence to be grouped, you can now disable this with Group Clips option for sequence items. Also, Replace Selected Clips setting enables or disables the Replace feature. If it is disabled, Added Clips will remain selected after being added. This is useful for Excalibur user commands. Finally, Set Amount of Spellbook items. This determines how many commands you'll have in the spellbook for Quiver items. And that is all. Thank you.